Amphoteric surfactants are an important part of the surfactant family. Amphoteric surfactant is a type of surfactant with two or more ionic properties in its molecular structure. However, amphoteric surfactant usually refers to this kind of amphoteric surfactant with both cationic and anionic hydrophilic groups in its molecular structure. It is generally believed that they have two kinds of hydrophilic groups in the molecular structure, which can be ionized in aqueous solution and show the characteristics of anionic surfactants under certain medium conditions, while in another medium, a class of surfactants can show the characteristics of cationic surfactants. Amphoteric surfactants are a late developing class of surfactants. American patents began to be reported in 1937. In 1940, DuPont reported beta in amphoteric surfactants for the first time. In 1948, France developed an electrolyte stabilized amino acid series amphoteric surfactant used in surgical disinfection and sterilization. Amphoteric surfactants are characterized by their ability to act as both anionic and cationic surfactants, depending on the pH of the solution. This unique behavior makes them suitable for a wide range of applications. Here, we classify amphoteric surfactants into four main categories based on their chemical structure. Amine oxide is usually prepared by the reaction of tertiary amine with hydrogen peroxide. The chemical properties of amine oxide are similar to those of amphoteric surfactants. They are compatible with anionic surfactants, cationic surfactants, and non-ionic surfactants and show non-ionic properties in neutral and alkaline solutions and weak cationic properties in acidic solutions. Amine oxide-based surfactants possess a quaternary ammonium group and an oxygen atom in their molecular structure. They exhibit excellent foaming and wetting properties, making them commonly used in personal care products such as shampoos, bubble baths, and facial cleansers. Furthermore, they also find applications as emulsifiers, detergents, and dispersants in various industrial processes. Beta-ene-based surfactants consist of a quaternary ammonium group and a carboxylate group in their structure. Beta-ene-type surfactant added to water can form a transparent solution, with many foams and good decontamination abilities. It can be regarded as a representative of amphoteric surfactants. They are known for their mildness and compatibility with human skin making them the preferred choice in personal care products for individuals with sensitive skin. Additionally, beta-ene is also utilized in fabric softeners, hair conditioners, and baby care products. The parent structure of imidazoline is imidazo, which reflects the molecular structure as a five-membered heterocyclic ring containing tertiary nitrogen and imine groups. Imidazoline-type surfactants are a class of surfactants with excellent performance. Their molecules contain both anionic and cationic groups. They are improved in balanced amphoteric surfactants. It is mild in nature, and has good decontamination, foaming, and emulsifying properties, especially with extremely low toxicity, minimal irritation to skin and eyes, good foaming properties, excellent emulsifying properties, and good biodegradability. It has a very wide application prospect in daily chemical industry, textile, printing and dyeing, and is also widely used in baby shampoos and low irritation shampoos cosmetics and cleaning agents, as well as fiber softeners and anti-static agents. The aqueous solution of amino acid type amphoteric surfactant is alkaline. If hydrochloric acid is added slowly while stirring, there is still no change when it becomes neutral. When it is slightly acidic, a precipitate is formed. If hydrochloric acid is added to make it strongly acidic, the precipitate dissolves again. This means that when it is alkaline, it behaves like an anionic surfactant, and when it is acidic, it behaves like a cationic surfactant. However, when the cationic and anionic properties are just at the balanced isoelectric point, the hydrophilicity becomes smaller and a precipitate is formed. It has high safety for the environment and organisms, and has an affinity for skin and hair. The best application prospect is cosmetics with high safety requirements. Carboxyl beta-ene surfactant is one of the earliest developed and studied beta-ene products. Alpha-alkyl beta-ene with different carbon chains has been successfully prepared from the carbon-12 carbon-18 series of alpha-brominated fatty acids and trimethylamine, by a solvent-free method and solvent-based method, or by chlorosulfonic acid as a catalyst, oxygen as a free trapping agent, and chlorine as a halogenating agent. Alpha-mix long-chain alkyl beta-ene was synthesized from coconut oleic acid or palmitic acid. The reaction equation is The synthetic methods of amino acid-based surfactants include chemical synthesis, enzyme synthesis, and chemical enzyme synthesis. 
The study of chemical synthesis is the earliest. The amphoteric surface activity of aminosulfonic acid was synthesized from alkylamine, formaldehyde, and an organic sulfonating agent by aminomethylation, sulfonation, and solid phase salt formation. The basic reaction is shown below. Coconut oil carboxymethyl sodium imidazoline acetate is an early developed imidazoline surfactant, which is an amber water soluble transparent liquid. The synthesis method is that imidazoline intermediate was prepared from coconut, fatty acid, and carboxyethylethylene diamine by heating and vacuum dehydration, then use monochloroacetic acid as a quaternizing reagent under alkaline conditions for quaternization to obtain the finished product. Its reaction equation is as follows. Amphoteric surfactants have various applications across different industries due to their unique properties. Some of these applications are personal care and cosmetics. Amphoteric surfactants are commonly used in personal care products like shampoos, shower gels, and facial cleansers. They help to create foam and stabilize formulations, while also providing mildness and conditioning properties. Examples of commonly used amphoteric surfactants in personal care include cocomitopropyl betaine and laurel betaine. Household cleaning products, amphoteric surfactants are also found in various household cleaning products like dishwashing liquids, laundry detergents, and multipurpose cleaners. They help to remove dirt and grease effectively and provide good foaming properties. The mildness of amphoteric surfactants makes them suitable for sensitive surfaces and skin. Industrial cleaning. Amphoteric surfactants are used in industrial cleaning applications, such as car wash soaps, industrial degreasers, and cleaning solutions for equipment and machinery. They provide excellent cleaning power, especially for removing oil, grease, and other tough stains. Agriculture Amphoteric surfactants are used in agricultural applications as wetting agents, dispersants, and adjuvants. They improve the effectiveness of pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers by aiding in their spread and absorption on plant surfaces. Pharmaceuticals, amphoteric surfactants are used in the formulation of various pharmaceutical products like creams, ointments, and nasal sprays. They provide stability to formulations, improve their spreadability, and aid in drug delivery. Oil and gas industry, amphoteric surfactants are used in the oil and gas industry for enhanced oil recovery processes. They help to reduce the interfacial tension between oil and water, improving oil mobilization and increasing oil production. Textile industry. Amphoteric surfactants are used in the textile industry as wetting agents, dye leveling agents, and anti-static agents. They help to improve the wetting and penetration of dyes and chemicals on textile fibers, resulting in a more uniform and vibrant coloration. Additionally, they also help to prevent the buildup of static electricity on fabric surfaces, reducing the occurrence of static cling and improving the comfort of clothing. Overall, Amphoteric surfactants have a wide range of applications in various industries due to their versatile functionality and compatibility with different types of substances.